team, but you know, I'm telling you, like, it's got it's got terraforming and procedural generation and 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 like cyborgs and orbital drops and all this. Stuff. What? Um, yeah, yeah, two tickets for Sunday. Nah. Hey, man, I can't tell you about Titanfall two and book tickets for the aquarium at the same time. No, I no, no, don't. No, 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 don't message me. You're lucky I'm even calling you. You know what? I'm going to go make my own aquarium. Never talk to me again. Bye. Oh, hello, and welcome to the Facilities Gaming Command Center. I'm your host, Kyle Guy. Over the next two and a half hours, two hours or so, we'll be doing something. If, you're for, if this is your first time at the facility, we'll be doing something that you're not going to get from any other stream on the internet. Your scientist, your personal scientist here, is going to play some of the best, most scienciest games of all time, all the while exploring and explaining everything that we can as we do so. We've done this before. I'm a little hitch my giddy up there. We've done this before. Games like Half-Life 2, Dead Space, Bioshock, classics and today we return to a classic titanfall 2 a fantastic very very well made fps that has a great campaign that is very sciencey when we get into it i'm sure we'll find much science time thank you to everyone who is joining for the first time welcome to everyone who came over from office hours it's a couple it's a hop skip and a jump down that hallway there behind me the gaming facility center. We have a PS6. We got gaming chairs. We have my own episodes on loop. I also have two 27-inch monitors in front of me. Yes, I'm huge. To play this game at its optimal level. Also, I have two 75-inch monitors. OLED. Behind me, you can see both what you're saying and what we're playing. What we're playing today, again, is Titanfall 2. If you're new to the gaming channel, like the video, check out our other streams that we've done. Full streams that uh, we're, we're still uploading some stuff that we did on Twitch, full streams. Um, but right here on this channel is going to be the only place where you can get the full playthroughs. There's going to be a lot we can talk about in Titanfall 2 from, yeah, like uh, orbital drops, wall running, rail guns, and the gameplay is smooth and fun and fantastic. I didn't even... I had to download Origin, I had to reset my password, I almost cancelled the stream. Scientist explains why the mecha game goes beep boop pop boop pop boop pop says thinkafer. Yes. Yo, my first time turning in tuning into a gaming stream, let's go, says Intel Intel. Welcome, Captain Dagon. Welcome. Jason. Wait, how'd you go get a green onion for Arya from the aquarium? I can do different things. I had a whole day worth of errands. But like I said. From the command center, we're going to jump in with our PS4 controller, with our gamer headphones, and uh, for the next... We'll, we'll game for about an hour? How's your voice after... How's your voice after doing the last hour? Says Kyle Howard with the five. You sound like you're dying. You sound like you're dying. I sound... <coughs> I sound like a... <laughs> Felix says this is one of my top five games of all time. It is, it's definitely um, up there for uh, for FPS. See, I'm more of a single player campaign guy, so to have a FPS have a truly interesting and creative and sciencey campaign like this, it's great. It's my top favorite game of all time. Says Nate Gray, who also just wrote a paper on Titanfall Two. And I didn't know until I played Titanfall Two. I was playing the I was playing the, the the game obviously, but the weapons I was like wow these weapons are identical to the ones in Apex. That's where Apex Legends came from, Titanfall and this series. Uh, Mr. Alien Man, this is my first gaming stream and I'm happy to be here. Kyle, it's you, the person who owns the Adidas Crocs. How do you know that? How do you know I have Adidas Crocs? Did I say that somewhere? Anyway, enough jib jabbing. It's time to activate gamer headphone mode. Battery level's high. 
headset is paired. So when we jump in, I want you to make sure to let me know right away if it sounds and looks um, okay. We'll be starting from the start. New file. Uh, Liz Calvert, again, come from the other stream with a $10 donation. Why does rolling the back window down make a helicopter noise? Also, if Aria is an AI, how come you got sick people... You got sick. People can't get computer viruses. Um, Arya has a has a flesh body that she can pop her consciousness into. So, you know, it still has like a nervous system and stuff. And a respiratory system. Why does rolling down your back window make a helicopter noise? Well, it's because it's a, it's a change. It's a pressure differential that wants to... It's like air skipping off of a pressure differential. What's your favorite Titan loadout to use? I don't know. We're going to leave... A lot of these decisions up to you, starting right now. Welcome to A Scientist Plays Titanfall 2. Let me move some stuff around. Let's get full screen going here. And let's go. Little bit of backstory for you. Sick. Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot is the true dominant force. This is all you really need to know about the game. These pilots are super Fast soldier guys, agile. and they have robots. Graceful, yet devastating. I recognize this guy's voice. Oh, that's Receptive. Mercer, isn't it? Mm. That's Resourceful. why I recognize him. <laughs> And relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. And Kyle, science times different. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. Jeez, that's sick. <laughs> But what Request truly subtitles on the pilot from all, right. all the grunts and machines of the battle. I will put subtitles on. Once is the done. bond between a pilot and a titan. Eat me. Yeah, Jason, I got a thing for voices, man. I don't know. Faces and voices. Definitely not names. Oh, when my linked body. to a titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force, or an equal. Sick! The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, uh. and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, Sick. we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. You don't say Demeter? Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. Sick. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But I do but when that day comes, which is arguably more profitable. I hope I can live up to the honor. Sick! Do you have an analysis? Kyle, have you run an analysis of the pilot jump pack? Says Andres Montoya. We'll be doing all this. We're just getting into it, baby. Like I said, we will pop up science time whenever it is science time. And if you have any comments, questions, as we do so, I'm looking at you right now, chat. You look beautiful. We. This is what we're here for. You're not just going to watch me play. We are going to learn together. The problem that I always have with every freaking game on Steam is that all the button prompts are mapped to an Xbox controller, which I do not use. And, hmm, how do I turn that off? Uh, I'd have to, I don't want to show you my desktop and shh, you know, don't worry about it. Thank you for the subs. Luke. All personnel be advised. Here we go, Rifle. Whoa. Oh, hell. Ship must have power cycled the sim pod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. Why is it looking jumpy on the stream, man? 
Because it looks absolutely phenomenal on mine. Does that feel right to you, Cooper? Meh. It looks... I'm playing it on like... Oh, it's it's not? It's just my... Okay. All right. We're good it was Skippy. Go. It was Skippy Let's on my screen there. see how much you remember from last time. Setting the neural link. Not quite the same as a Titan link, but it's similar. Yeah, it's OBS. I see it in OBS, but are you seeing it? Because I'm playing this on like ultra settings on my computer. Ah, much better. Is that right? Technically, I'm not supposed to be training you, but in you I see potential. Besides, we're in war. Who's got time for classes, eh? Let's pick up the pace, enabling jump kit assist. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed stability. Oh Once man, jump kit this looks so good style, on my computer right now. Enhanced mobility oh my goodness. Oh. See, it's it's doing a little jumpy for you, huh? Now it's fine, right on my end. Because it's silky smooth on my end. We'll keep an eye on it. Beautiful, isn't it? Inspired by my home planet of harmony. Inspired by my home planet of harmony. See, now this this can be a problem because if this guy's Australian, then I'm gonna have to do Australian all the time. First science time. When you look at <clears throat> when you look at structures like this that are suspended in air without any obvious force on them, stuff like this or in av uh, Avatar. Oh, subtitles, right? Um, such as Avatar, like Pandora and stuff like that. The common explanation for that, um, and in um, Bioshock Infinite, has been quantum locking. Now, quantum locking is a very incredible mac macroscopic effect from a microscopic quantum effect. So when you cool down a certain kind of superconductor past a certain point, it starts to expel all magnetic flux from its interior, which is to say that magnetic lines no longer go through it. They have to go around it. Um, certain type 2 superconductors can have a little bit of um, magnetic flux through it, and those kind of act like pins. That's why this is also called flux pinning. We have a video on the channel all about quantum levitation and how it works. I even do it in a video. Why am I so big? Am I a big boy? Why am I so big? Am I a big boy? <laughs> Why is my camera doing that? <laughs> there we go. That doesn't feel right, but there it is. We even have a uh, video on the channel about it. Um, and so this is called flux pinning. And so the common idea is that flux pinning is why... Um, these structures stay aloft like this, but I can tell you that to have thousands and thousands of kilograms suspended in the air like that, the magnetic fields you would need um, to counteract the mass of these big things like that up. is uh, prohibitive. In that, it would probably kill everyone everywhere. This is what we're fighting for, Cooper. A world that's not metal and smoke. A world that's not freedom metal to and live smart. in peace and prosperity. <laughs> Good. Now you're moving. Well, where's my? Under here. Stay low. Don't I get a? Oh, that was a bad one. Don't I get a, a jump? Pack? Double there. jump. Follow the ghost. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've retaken over a quarter of frontier ah. space since the battle. My uh, <laughs> my sprint well, button is not better organized <laughs> now. More people join every day. Ooh, that was a weird one. I don't think I've done that one before. <laughs> Combat, things never go as you expect. You must be ready to talk about the quantum levitation video. The yes, these are just a few of the weapons I've come across out there. Same thing, I'll get the hang of it, Jeff. I'll get the hang of it. Load your weapon, you reload your weapon. Use a different weapon this time, grab another one off the rack. The alternator, right. Good. Practice more if you want. Then head to the gauntlet. Oh, okay. Just get. I'm just getting the handles on, Chet. All right. Part 
Time is two minutes. Gotta do better than that. I heard you mention magnetic fields killing with neutron stars, but how does it actually cause harm, says ignorant senpai. Um, so, imagine a magnetic field so strong... Imagine a magnetic field so strong that it literally um, pulls your atoms and molecules apart, which have, um, you know, anything that's charged is susceptible to electromagnetic fields. And so a super, super strong, that's why a frog can levitate in, an elect, in a magnetic field, even though the frog is in itself magnetic, like a ferrous material is. In a strong enough magnetic field, it can respond to it. Um, basically becoming magnetic only in the presence of something that strong. Um, and so in the presence of a magnetic field like around a neutron star, it's so strong it wouldn't levitate you, it would rip you apart. Hit. Pilots have to strike a balance in combat. Speed is paramount. But you must also hit your target. Oh, that was bad. The gauntlet is where we practice our skills until their second nature. It's kind of weird hearing the same sounds from Apex. I, I want to get that slide better. Slide? Nah. I know people can be really freaking good at this, and I'm not. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know, I know. Nice so ma magnetic fields doesn't equal wall. gravity, right? Says Brandon Zero. Time. No, the everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to run this a few times with different weapons. Look at the the, yeah, the force of the force of gravity is exceedingly weak. It is the weakest of the four fundamental forces by far. Race against other pilot ghosts. No, it's Word of warning, though, the pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the SRS. That was the if fastest gauntlet there, run I've ever seen. <laughs> no, 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 no. You should see. You should see veteran or pro players play this game. It is insane how fast they they move around. All done with the gauntlet. Yeah, I'm all done with the gauntlet. I'm ready to see what's next. Good. You're gonna like this. It's time the record for the, the gauntlet non-tass is under 11 it's seconds. Tight. And I took a minute. Let's go call one in. Think about that. But aren't pilots the only ones allowed to do that? Uh, can it's I not do it? I'm on problem. critical role. It's not the real thing. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. Oh, that was the only gun that's that one I've ever seen. Well, that's why. <laughs> the Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. It's a very pretty First game, Titan Titan Nice to see you. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. BT. Soon to be right your woman, favorite robot. Call in your first Titan. Call in your first Titan. Look up into the sky. There he is. All right, Rifleman. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling you out. Powering down all known essential systems. Cooper, ready up. Easy, Cole. He just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Decompress. Yes, sir. Did y'all did y'all see the uh, it's up. Ryan Reynolds Killing video us. about the next Deadpool Trying movie? Anyway. Did you like Which it? session in there? You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last Mosa. Anderson, you son, of son of a bitch. Of a bitch. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a predator Maybe reference. Even die on <laughs> I'm sitting very low in my chair and I don't like it. See you down there, Rifleman. Good luck. Get your ass out of the Simpod, Cooper. Meet at the dropship. Tom to fought. I'm not good enough for a higher difficulty. I got it. Thank you. Do you like the new Predator movie? I didn't see it. I heard it was good. What do you think of games that allow you to change directions mid-jumps is infamous? I think if you have something like a jump pack, it does make sense because you are applying thrust. 
in one direction, therefore your body goes the other direction, but depending on how quickly you move, it might be too much of a G-force to for it to be, like, human-friendly, you know? Do you still watch The Expanse? Uh, no, we finished it. Or, I finished it. I just, uh... I just uh, moderated the Expanse panel at Adam Savage's convention. Oh, that's a brilliant logo thing. Inner, inner connectivity. So, because the air is getting... Comp oh, man, this is so sick. Look how cool this looks. Air in front is being compressed. You see the little compression plug of air at the front. Thrusters to slow the descent. Heats up because of that air in front getting hot. Shielding prevents the pod from getting too hot. Alexander Kotman, any recommendations for an entry-level PC? My man, this is my first PC, so, uh, I mean my first gaming PC, so I don't, um, I don't have any recommendations. I bought a pre-made one, and it's fantastic, so I'd recommend not having to build it yourself with your stuff. Chet, I hope you can see, but this game looks fantastic right now for me. All right, I don't have my jump. Oh, yeah, get the little frame. I have zero drop frames on my end, so. Can't see what I'm shooting. Like I said, this game looks. Are they just robots or are they people? These are robots, right? Oh, I want the R301. Woo! Man, the shooting feels good. Oh, man. Everything about this game is just sick. Oh, right, I don't have my double jump. Oops. Hit. Oh, man! Sick! Buffy, shout out, trying to become a big YouTuber. Shout out Buffy, but self-promotion is uh, not for gameplay. Is it too loud? Is it alright? Oh, my body! Oh! I'm not even gonna look at him when I shoot him. That's how that's how much of a bad guy I am. What do you think of the theory that he just injected you with nanites to make you a badass pilot yeah, once you hours. are once you wake up? Leave the corpses alone, you sick bastard. We've got a job to do, eh? We make corpses. Nanites we aren't the be all Let's end go. all to every sciencey thing, right? You hear about nanomachines a lot, but in terms of making you a superhuman just with nanomachines, I mean, nanomachines that are super, super effective and uh, in your body. I mean, they could be using your bloodstream like a highway, they could be injecting drugs. Ah, ah, ah. 
They could be injecting stimulants. They could be repairing tissue damage, et cetera, et cetera. But how would they make you superhumanly agile and quick? Um, I don't know how a machine... Just checking my frame rate. <laughs> Just, um... It's loud over your voice. All right, yeah. Anyway. Turn it down just a little bit there. Don't be shouty. Or you get the ban hammer. I can't stress I can't stress enough how on my end. Yeah, I'm still a little framey gamey, but on my end this looks so good. Plus, it's not spoilers. I thought that was a, I thought that was a theory you said. Just kind of vomited him up on me, huh? BT, transfer authorization to new pilot. Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango, seven two seven. Yeah, that's Super. and that's how Take robot has a baby. Use my helmet in my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. Now was he talking to BT or me? What do you think's the next step of display technology? This is Alexander Codman. Fully realized holographic displays. Perfect from all directions. That would be sick. God, it looks so good. So chat, we're playing Titanfall 2 today because I wanted to come back to streaming after not streaming for a while. And I wanted something to play that isn't spooky. Because once October rolls around, we're going to go back to what we did last year and spooking. Real spooky spooking. So we're going to be playing Dead Space 2. We're going to be playing Chernobylite. And in December, a little bit later, we're going to be playing uh, Callisto Protocol on stream. For all of you. Might even be the first Callisto Protocol stream ever. ever. Welcome back, Kyle. You're the best. It's Buster Sharp. Buster, welcome. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, trying to find power cells. You need to find power cells. I'm BT. All right, find me a route. Power low. Insufficient power. Well, yeah, I got that from the first part. Power low. Okay. Insufficient power. Okay. Or oh wait, I'm pressing the wrong button. Boop. Hey Kyle, love the visits. I forgot. Okay. Insufficient power. Do I have my jump back? No. Get Eva Auto, Auto here. <laughs> oh my, are these things gonna kill me right now? Um, you didn't see that. That was sad, and you didn't see it. And, uh, I'm just getting my bearings. I didn't know I don't have my jump pack yet. I know! I'm- I was looking at chat. Everyone shut up. I didn't know they take so many shots. Still don't have my- Oh, double jump offline. Wow, Post Malone. What? I just came in to see that? Actually, I didn't see it, because I just got here. It says, Ki... Ki ha Kui. Nice name. I like that. These take a lot of hits, huh? I didn't. <laughs> see you later, loser. Oh! That's just, uh, hanging out? Oh. 
It's relatable. You could do a God of War stream and explain the weird stuff from a sciencey perspective. I could. God of War is one of the best game. It was uh, voted in a massive IGN poll as the best game ever made. God, this game looks so good. Militia intruders, this is General Marder of the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation. You're in violation of sovereign law. I'm offering you a brief amnesty. I didn't, I didn't, so I didn't, so what I was doing is I forgot that I had the, I didn't have the double jump. So I just need everyone to kind of calm down. Thanks. <laughs> and you could do uh, historical references too. Well, you're assuming that I know about Norse mythology. Not really. Give me the double jump. Thank you. Oh, wait. Okay, so I didn't have double jump there. Um, see, now, actually, the double jump in this game, in Titanfall, is the only possible double jump. Is the only possible double jump. Well, if you double jump without sending mass out in some other direction at a high speed, you don't get enough philosophy. Philosophy. I'm reading chat. Velocity to move in a different direction without providing thrust in some way, which is usually the ejection of mass at high speed. You're not going to be able to jump and then jump again by having a jump pack, essentially a small jet pack on your back. It makes it possible. But <laughs> I'd have to calculate it, but I bet it'd be a hell of a kick. Huh. But that's when you can have stuff like if the entire uh, pilot's suit was kind of like a shock suit or shock absorbing and it was reinforced and all that. I can see that being possible. Because, see, I thought I had double jump there and. You should do a Portal 2 run with Aria. That's not a bad idea. She is... Oh, hey. See ya! <laughs> oh, hey. Just gonna watch your friend do that, huh? 360. <laughs> Throws... Are you supposed to be on Titan? Moon of Saturn, says J. Arrows. No, that's the name of the robots. Titans. See it. Even his helmet pops off when I... Even his helmet pops off when I shoot him in the head. That's... Yeah. Graphics, everything. The design of everything in this is just so... Crispy, crunchy, peanut buttery, good. Where is he shooting? Give me my jump. Double jump. Up. Hey. Oh. What happened? Oh. <laughs> See, so what happened there was, is a, um, my, my, uh, I, I did, I forgot they didn't have my, my double jump online, so what happened there was, um, direct contact lemon. Oh, you meant, you said something previously. Let's check out your game. Can't do that right now. Direct with the five. I appreciate it, but I will do it. Come on! <laughs> okay, so now I just went really framey on what I'm looking at. Are we still good? Are we still good? Because what I'm looking at, um, my monitor is fine, but my uh, stream is herky-jerky. 
Herky jerky. Encoding encoding overloaded, considering turn down video settings. Let's do that. So how do I uh oh uh oh is it because of the chats? No. Something else. So now I should be totally fine. So what do I do? Do I turn down the uh the in-game settings to make it lower? See chat, we're we're all we we all learn here together. Do you have something else open? Uh yeah. Some other stuff. But nothing non-critical. It's the in-game settings that are messing it up, huh? Yes, I posted twice. See in Canola. What? What'd you say? What'd you say? Turn down and lock FPS. Turn down in-game. The moment you pause the lag, stop. Yeah, because it's the game specifically, right? I did have 50... I did have, like, 10 Chrome tabs open. <laughs> that could be it. Let's see. Let's get back. <laughs> Better? 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 Yeah. Texture doesn't need to be insane. <laughs> Literally insane. That'll help it a little bit. Now, it's not going to look as good on my end, but it will look better on your end. Hopefully. Hmm. That's the wrong button. Yeah, this is better, huh? No scope. Ow. Oh, that one framing for a second, but that's all right. Yes! All right. No more mistakes. Double jump is online. All right. Better, right? Should be much better. Ow! Ow! Fine. Didn't want to switch to it. Wrong button. Hey. Thank you very much. Love your content. Thank you for being here. Direct contact. Lemon! I'm not shouting. You're shouting. Hello. Oh, right. Punching that robot didn't kill the robot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Oh, you're right next to me. That's right. Crocky. Cool. 
Come on now. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it running and gunning. Woo! To any militia personnel, I must remind you that you are on the planet Typhon. This is an IMC controlled planet. But there are many wild creatures Looks good. outside the bounds of our installation. Oh jeez. Now, if we we're able to make robots like the ones in the game, do you think it'd be possible for them to be water friendly? Yeah, I, I bet you. you can, I mean, <laughs> you're describing submarines and um, other underwater rovers and stuff, right? You can make them. You can make the critical parts of them watertight and airtight, which is what hermetic means. Did you know that? I did not know hermetically sealing something means making it airtight. That's science time. <laughs> No, we're not on planet Titan, Scooper. We're on planet Typhon, which is I don't know where. You were brave enough to join people who believe in protecting the freedom of the frontier. Brandon Zero says, oh, dang, dude, I didn't even think about it. Ooh, like that little, little slide transition? Come on, you don't, we don't have to do this. We don't, we don't have to... We don't have to do that. I want to get really good at the wall running to slide. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Vanguard class Titan. These things are rare. We should sell it. No bloody way. Those weren't Bliss's orders. That guy doesn't scare me. Sure, you say that now. Just wait till they got a gun to you. Hey. hey. Now, how would something like uh, active camouflage work like that, hmm? The best explanation I have for active camouflage would be to project outwards from the suit. Um, not, not like uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. does in the new Spider-Man, in the second Spider-Man movie, but more like having little screens all over your body and a screen in combination with mirrors all over your body. Those two in combination could scan the environment. The front cameras could see what's behind you and then project what's behind you on the front of you, making you effectively as though no light is bouncing off you at all. That would be the most... Power low. Insufficient power. That would be the most um, sci-fi thing. Well, I gotta power get up to your... Insufficient power. Well, is it? Oh, it's here. It's not on your butt. I thought it was in your butt. Where? Where's your power where's... low? Insufficient power. I power live. Data core reinitialized. Ocular system online. Wouldn't you still cast a Adjusting shadow? Focus. Are you all right, pilot? I think so. Y y yes? Wait, did you just call me pilot? Yes. The late Captain Lastimosa gave you the provisional rank of acting pilot. Congratulations on your promotion. Yeah? You may call me BT. But BT. you're also projecting Got images it. on... Mm. Yeah, I guess. My systems are rebooting. But Austin stands with Ukraine. Kyle should play some multiplayer and discuss tactical abilities. Here. I will remain here, Delta Tango. Until I am mobile, I will assist you through your helmet radio when possible. Yes, sir. If you ate at McDonald's every day, could you increase your gravity to the point where light bends around you just to make people, just to make sure people keep you at the focal point? No. Militia 
personnel. To our Guiding militia personnel. This is creepy, position. scary guy. I put on this creepy, scary guy voice so that I can sound somewhat like a TV villain or some sort of... I advise against turning yourself over to the IMC. Voice pattern analysis indicates they are lying. Good enough. Hey, don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Understood, but I do recommend you move. IMC salvage teams are not far away. Run! That was a bad one. I mean I'm not leaving you. It is a common requirement for pilots to maneuver in situations without a leech type. IMC. He's in charge of the Apex Predator. Top shelf mercy. Hey buddy. Oh je Jesus. Yeah, sure, don't go down. Pilots, my mapping systems have been restored. The ambush of the 9th Militia Fleet has landed us far off course from our original destination. We are located in hostile territory. Be careful, we cannot stay here long. How long did you serve with Lastimosa? Captain Lastimosa linked with me 970 Wow, talk about years overkill. Ago. Yeah. Sorry. You guys must have been close. He was an excellent pilot. And a good friend. That was cool in Mission Impossible, where they had the screen that projected behind and followed the person's gaze. Yeah, Jack, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm a spooky, scary voice man. Don't worry about what I do. Chad, if I play this off stream, I'm turning all my settings all the way back up. Uh, so in about 10 minutes, we'll take a quick break. Everyone can... Stretch their legs, get something to drink, and then we'll be back for more science time. I believe we've gotten into a couple science times already, huh? I'm invisible. No one can see me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I have more than one weapon. Oh, this is a big fighting area, I remember. Oh, man. I'm listening to this work, and it's and it's pretty cool. It says, Wet Skelly. Hey, thanks. Hey, thank you. Headshot. Not headshot. Headshot. All right. All right, you want to play that game? Let's go. Got it. Charge rifle. So, the pro players... The pro players that I see, like, they'll shoot at someone, like, down here, and then they'll use that double jump to jump back off. I keep pressing the wrong toggle. Hit! Hello. Hit! Wrong time to reload, buddy. Slide in. Bye bye. Pilot, your suit has an emergency cloaking ability. This can help you survive dangerous situations. Like what? Hey. Oh, I grenaded myself! Oh! Hello, science store. Hello, swag nut. <laughs> Man, do you know how hard you'd have to punch someone for something like that to look like that? <laughs> to fly across the room? It would break your hand and your arm and everything else. <laughs> it is hella satisfying, though. 
PB&J God gives me a math equation according to PEMDAS to do for no reason. PT, is there anyone alive on Thank this Thank you, no. PB. Scans do not detect any life signs within the NCS James McAllen. But 90% of the lifeboats have Mjolnir been Mjolnir says, love this game. There yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. If you've never played it, highly PT. recommend it. Who is this voice? This is the commander of the Marauder Corps, a section of the Militia's Special Recon Squadron, or SRS. The movement is fantastic. Is Sarah Briggs. It's interesting. The story is good. Sciency. I'm not even playing it on full resolution, because apparently I can't take it. I was looking at chat, that's what happened. BT is based. Can you explain seeing the bullet trail, says Spencer Mackland? Um... Well, bullets can have tracers, as you know, which is a... a phosphorus-like material, it might just be phosphorus, um... that burns and extremely... It burns extremely bright, so you can see... uh, the bullet trails, but if the bullet leaves an actual pathway, the only way for that to be... the case is if it was moving through in atmosphere such that it would create pressure differentials and cause um, condensation. So, like, that's what a contrail is. When a plane moves at 500 miles an hour through the sky, the wingtips create these contrails or condensation trails. Uh, I bet a bullet could do the same thing, but it might be moving too fast. Or it needs the right environment, like a fully saturated atmosphere. Uh, Something like that. So, effectively, you're, like, shooting in a cloud chamber. But I don't know. Normal, everyday shooting would not give you, um, trails like that. Wow, it is hard to try to be intelligent and play a fast-paced shooter game at the same time while looking at you. I hope you're appreciating it. If you are appreciating it, please like the video and subscribe to the gaming channel where we have so much coming up. As the channel gets bigger and bigger, we are talking to bigger and bigger people about doing some very fun gaming related sciencey stuff here. Slide. Trying to salvage King Gamma. There's a Vanguard class Titan in the wreckage of the Macallan. Shutting up a Bravo. Oop. Don't die. To all militia survivors. So we should be in your best interest to turn yourselves in. So we should actually talk about wall running. So how do you wall run? It's really about having the correct combination of forces acting on you. Right? Um, so if you look at the forces as like a vector, this is what we do in physics, we, we, put, uh, we draw a free body diagram and we see all the forces applying on your body. Appl uh, being applied to your body. Right now, I only have one force being applied to my body. That's gravity, which is pulling me down. The floor gets in the way, and it pushes up on me. That up-pushing, I feel as weight. Right? Perfect. Rage D says, this game is amazing in 4K. You're not even seeing it at full settings right now. Okay. When you want to run up a wall or whatever you need to have a combination of forces such that one, the, the, the combined vector, like if I have up and down and equal, equal parts, it equals out to zero, right? That's why I'm not moving. That's why you're not moving right now. I'm sitting down in a chair. It's pushing up on me. Gravity is pulling down on me and goes to zero. Net force of zero means no acceleration, no movement. If you're wall running, you need to have that resultant vector still applying a force on you towards the wall. So you need to get really good at, you're basically running at the wall, and as you're running at the wall, you start, you also, <laughs> the components are X and Y such that you move forward while also having a force applying to you sideways so you stay pressed up against something. And wall running is a thing that you can actually do. Um, what I will show, what I would uh, recommend as a good example of this is the dogs who can run up 
walls. And there's even like a competition or, or something like that. Um, but these dogs run full speed at a wall and then they start running up a wall. Now, the only way that is possible, like we were just describing, is that the dog, when the dog starts to run up the wall, it still has all this momentum pointing this way. So its little peats can try its best to counteract gravity this way with the friction and stuff. But what it's allowing it to do that is still force from the momentum change going from some velocity to no velocity this way is momentum change. Momentum change is a force and that keeps you here. Right? It's like a skateboarder wall riding. Exactly. About five more minutes, chat. We'll take a short commercial break. But maybe we'll just Pilot, get... Uh... Our location has been compromised. We'll save, uh, we'll save our buddy here, and then... Uh... We'll power up our buddy here. And then, we'll take a short commercial break. Ooh, where did he go? Oh! <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Hey. Drones are IMC scouts. Hey, John. Enemy reinforcements will be on their way. We oh. must complete the neural link immediately. Please install the final battery. Hey, John. Should we make uh, the robot's eyes glowing red? I mean, it would be pretty scary, but you could probably see him from like a mile away. <laughs> Who cares? Power at full capacity. Oh, yeah. Pilot. We must establish a neural link in order to proceed. Please embark when ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, that's that's the interior. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Protocol one, link to pilot. Establishing neural link. I don't know what a neural, neural link, link established. could do Rifleman Jack just Cooper, with light. You are now confirmed as acting pilot of BT-7274. Nerd Caveman, two, don't, don't test the, the mods. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. Anyone else feel claustrophobic getting in that I'm thing? I wouldn't forces. feel claustrophobic Protocol if I could three. see the projection Protect of the outside the like this. Reinitializing critical systems. Vortex shield online. The vortex shield catches incoming rounds and missiles. Release the button to launch any captured objects back at the enemy. Now, how does this work, chat? Okay, so that has to be some kind of insane. That has to be some kind of insane magnetic field, right? But the magnetic field to stop... So a, a bullet isn't very heavy, but it's going incredibly quick, you know, over the speed of sound. So it does have a decent amount of kinetic energy. To stop a bullet's kinetic energy in its place and then redirect it has to... At velocity that could destroy something would have to be magnetic fields turning on and off that would be... I mean, mo more than is in an MRI. And that's on something's hand, which means an MRI's worth of stuff, but stronger in a miniature size. Uh, not super possible. Pilot, the Acolyte pod is online. This shoulder-mounted rocket pod will lock onto multiple enemy targets. The longer you hold down the button, the more locks you will achieve. Got it. <laughs> Neural link complete. That's Primary sick. Primary weapon control and motion link reestablished. Yes! God, I Pilot, love moving around like enemy that. Enemy Titanfall detected. We will have to fight our way to safe. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna. D, get frick ready. Great, just gotta kill a few bad guys. 
positive attitude can only improve our situation. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Militia flight spotted chassis number BT7274. Not bad at all. You're dead. Increased. Woo. Now, see, <laughs> this this acceleration would be our only chance of survival. You have to be hold our mission of rendezvousing with Major Anderson. You... Until then, you and I are on our own. You Why better you uh, have your seatbelt on. You must move quickly. Speaking of moving quickly, Chad. <laughs> All right, I think we have part one of our Titanfall playthrough in the bag chat. If you are enjoying what we're doing here, if you're enjoying the only science plus gaming stream on the internet, I encourage you to like the stream, go back and check out our other videos, put them in your watch later playlist. We'll be right back. Give me two to three minutes, stretch my legs, use the bathroom real quick. We'll be right back with another hour of Titanfall 2. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more science to be done, I assure you. And if you leave, I will know. And I'll find you. Yes, if you're enjoying me as Agent 47, that was done by our very own Captain Dagon in the chat. And now a uh, long time and very active member of the facility. We get up to all crazy shenanigans, especially in the Discord. If you want to join us and join the Discord, that's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. It's the only place where you can see everything. I, I give hints. I, I talk to you directly like a human person. I... I give hints of what's coming up next to the facility. I give you an inside look into here. As Crafty is putting in the chat right now. But if this is your first time, if you're just joining us because I just retweeted my own link, 
Welcome to Scientist Place. This is the gaming wing of the facility where good old Professor Kyle here allows you inside to see not just S-tier gameplay, but also the only stream on the internet where a professional science boy sciences your favorite games. We've done it for Bioshock, Dead Space, Classics, Half-Life 2. We're doing it now for Titanfall 2, maybe my favorite FPS. I mean, the more that I play it, it looks abs... I mean, I don't remember it. This is my first time playing it on PC. I played it when it came out in 2016. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's crisp. It plays great. We are paused at a point where we have just finally reactivated a new, our new Titan named BT. And we are going, as we continue our adventure here, we're going to chat. Remember, S tier gameplay, but the man forgets how to double jump and dies. His brain in zero. Um, you know what a laser fence is, right? You know what happens if, like, you were to be, like, I don't know, tossed through one? Brandon? That was actually a really short break, lol. Well, Jack, I don't want, if I take, like, five to ten minutes, everyone's going to leave. Plus, I have to eat dinner and stuff. Um, what the heck was I saying before Brandon threw me off? I don't know. Nothing to it, but, to, oh, 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 oh. So as we continue our adventure through Titanfall 2, I mean, there's so much, we've already gone through active camouflage, uh, acceleration, deceleration, wall running, um, all this kind of stuff, and there's going to be more. There's terraforming and uh, railguns and flying and stuff. Oh, it's going to be great. All we have to do is put on our gaming headphones, grab our PS4 controller because it's worn down and it feels good in my hands, and say, welcome to A Scientist Plays Titanfall 2. Let's do it. Oh. oh. Right into a loading screen. Is a hey, uh veterans in the chat, is a click a kilometer? Is it just a way to say kilometer? Or is it slightly different than a kilometer? Like how a nautical mile is slightly different? Watching you play this maybe download it. Now I'm not getting any sleep tonight. Thanks a lot, says Joshua Carpenter. Hey. I'm not apologizing for making you play a really sick game. It's well made, looks great, story's cool, sci-fi. Wait till you. Pilot, the IMC will continue to search for us. Our Wait. only chance of survival. BT. Wait till we get to the time travel mission. It's the most iconic mission from this game, and it's fantastic. Let's to rendezvous with Major Anderson, sixty clicks from our current location. Yes, a click is a kilometer. We will have to right. improvise cool. and adapt if we wish to survive. That's what I thought. <laughs> There's some really cool movement in this game. Uh, remember when I like get to the sewers and stuff? You can tell all the bad guys have red stuff. We have blue stuff. Coming in! You know it is, baby. Bye bye. Bye bye. You can fly? Oh, I want to fly. All right, let's end this quick. All right, let's end this quick, okay? Oh, I forgot I could strafe dodge. <laughs> God, it's so cool. Why aren't you shooting me? What was that? Bye bye. Burst core online. Gosh, this game's so sick. Oh, that's... That's, uh, energy, right? Yeah. Excuse me, Lieutenant. How does the force field work, says Duncan Bailey? We talked about that a little bit. Um, probably magnetic. Um, 
Speaking of force fields, uh, that is uh, a force field. A, a real force field has been proposed around spacecraft, a magnetic force field that would act to stop incoming charged cosmic radiation and protect astronauts as they're traveling on a spaceship. It would be an envelope, basically like a magnetosphere that's around the Earth, but generated on the ship itself that extends beyond the ship that can act to redirect like I said, because it's charged, it responds to electromagnetic fields. So charged cosmic ray uh, particles could be moved around the spaceship. This would be a magnetic force field, but not quite the same thing that this bullet thing is doing. Science time. See, you can't get this kind of commentary or analysis anywhere else. I promise. <laughs> I don't want to use it yet. Bye bye. Bye bye. I want to use it on the boss type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could the Magnetic field generating satellite to protect Earth from solar flares, says Spencer McClan. No. Engaging. You're talking a solar flare is a monumental. Oh, that just seems mean spirited. Um, a solar flare is a monumental event. Solar flares are larger in size than the Earth. And so, any satellite that could produce a magnetic field like that would just, um, it wouldn't, the magnetic field would be nowhere near with you, and it would be nowhere near, uh, big enough. I'm trying to focus! I don't want to pause every time, because it's going to really take you out of it. Thanks for the assist, sir. Secure this area. No worries. Now, excuse me while I take this big gun. Pilot, this Titan weapon is an advanced design, and may give us a tactical advantage. Isn't a solar flare larger than the Earth's? Is Brandon Zero? Ha <laughs> ha! I think somebody beat you to it. A human's come. So what's tone? It's a uh, force field still. Sonar lock. Salvo core. Fires and missiles. I still, I still the like this. Of one. love requires admiration, attraction, devotion, and respect. Conclusion: I am fifty percent in love. <laughs> Pilot, with the tone loadout, we can lock onto enemies and target them with tracking rockets. Nah, this like will be this. useful in direct combat. Would a solar shield mounted on the moon be able to shield Earth? Don't need to. The fact that you are, uh, Mjolnir, the fact that you are here, the fact that you exist, means that the magnetosphere of the Earth is of a sufficient strength to allow for the living an evolution of creatures. If it wasn't, solar wind would blow our atmosphere away and it would irradiate everything living on the surface to death so the earth is doing just fine dude this is spoopy coolest buddy says heidi heidi you have a way of speaking that keeps me on my toes solar flares is a signature attack of tn from dragon ball isn't it uh yes but it's not the same thing i think solar flare for him is just a a lot of lot, where uh, solar flare. Uh! First core activated. Oh, that's what that is. I forgot what it did. electric smoke. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, you're still alive. Pilot, our path through this facility is blocked by a flow regulation gate. There should be a control interface nearby. 
overkill? Where are you? Hey. Imagine getting hit with a bullet that size. How do I get out? Oh, oh, jeez, you didn't tell- Hey, 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 BT. Do you think it would be uh, useful for you to be like, hey, by the way, the ground is toxic sludge? Pilot, our path through this facility is blocked. That that one was on you. Gate. There should be a control interface nearby. That one was on you. That one is on you, BT. What kind of toxic? What? Excuse me. What kind of toxic sludge would kill you instantly? I don't know. Nothing. God, the movement is just so cool. I mean, all this stuff that you can do, it's just sick. I mean, look at, look at that, just flying over cover. Freaking sick! Molten plutonium. Well, that's that's not toxic. Well, I mean, plutonium, yeah, that is toxic. My, my point being, if toxic sludge is on the ground, it's going to kill you. It's going to kill you from toxicity. Kyle, what is toxicity? Toxicity is our city. Our city. Okay, I'm not going to leave you hanging on that one. Toxicity is a concentration of chemicals, or a concentration of something, whereas that makes it toxic. Whereas something like mol something molten is just it is just actually damaging at any concentration, right? So it's not toxic per se; it's just dangerous. So those two things are different concepts. Maybe I'm not saying that very clearly, and I know I'm not. But, uh, you know, I'm focused. God, it's so awesome. It's a fire star. Probably throws fire. Where do I go? Whoop. There, wait, why, there? Pilot, our path through this facility is blocked by a flow regulation gate. There should be a control. I don't know why I can't clip. There are no buttons for it. There's no clip button on uh, YouTube? Hello. Oh, no one's in here. Maintenance override engaged. Opening flow regulation gate. Hey, you kind of sound like Aria. Warning. Toxic fumes dispersing in main chamber. Activating control room safety airlock procedures. Yeah, I'm back. Let's get it to Sammy B. <laughs> Sammy. Sammy, you be you behave yourself, okay? Find another way out. We have no choice but to split up. Have you downloaded North Star Launcher and you open a playing some multiplayer after you finish the campaign? This is Brian with the five. Uh... We'll see. Pilot, I am tracking your location. Recommend you seek an exit. You gotta be. You T. gotta be T. You do the same. Hey. Copy that, pilot. Hey. 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 Whoa, sniper. Okay, what do we hear, chat? I hear more. Get your stupid butt over Listen here. Up. This is King. What we have here, my IMC and militia friends, is a failure to communicate. And that's okay. Another reference? That's okay. That's all good. Uh-oh. 
Hey, stop it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. So <laughs> Geiger counter, or a Geiger Mueller counter, is the most famous um, detector of radiation. They can now, these days, look as small and as easy as something like this. I can turn it on at any time. Still has a bunch of batteries. I am at 0 .09 microsieverts per hour here in the facility. Pretty well shielded in here. Um, and the basics of how a Geiger counter works is that you put an inert gas a gas that doesn't react with anything, one of the noble gases. <laughs> you put it into a tube, and then you apply an electric voltage to that tube. Now, when radiation comes in, it comes into the tube, it ionizes some of the particles of that gas. It rips electrons from them, or adds electrons to them. And when that happens, it creates a little cascade of electricity inside of the tube because it's already charged. Charged particles in what's called a uh, cascade effect, or, um, fuck, what's the name of the guy? Did Thompson Cascade? Forget. Tom, uh, an electric avalanche, an electron avalanche occurs. Basically, it's just a pulse of electricity. That pulse of electricity is read by the instrument. The instrument transduces that pulse into a sound. And so, every time you hear a click, that indicates an actual ionizing event happening in your tube. The more clicks, the more radiation. Hey. <laughs> the movement, uh, this game is so fun. This is one of the only games I've ever gone back and replayed a campaign mission. And it's the time travel mission. You'll know when we get to it. Hey. Double headshot! Ooh. I'm passing Saturday, just want to listen to your voice. This is Sammy B. What? What do you mean? Listen to your science. Sammy B, I don't know what you mean. I hope you don't mean what I think you mean. But I'm happy to have you here. Join us listening to our science. The granddaddy of movement shooters is Brian Murray. Yeah, I mean... I mean, this is where Apex Legends came from. You know, the second or third most popular BR in the world. Oh, this is a Kraber I'm firing, right? I keep pressing the wrong toggle! It's a Kraber, baby. Crabe, baby. Well, yeah, I see that. Ooh, I like how it shows you the ammunition right there. It's fun. Ooh! Left in the facility, just so you know, this is Kane's place. Still here, you're welcome to stay as long as it takes to kill you, which, by the way, will not be long. Hey, robot. Going in. Oh, my Kraber. Oh. Going in. I keep pressing the wrong button. Pilot, I'm detecting friendly militia forces along your path. They may need assistance. I need a different weapon. Heidi, sometimes it, it sound it, it looks like you're speaking a different language. It's okay. Captain, I see something moving by the pipe. Eyes up. Oh, I was about to. Captain, we got a friendly I was a bite too. Oh no, no, it's it's corrosive. It's corrosive.
Nothing happened. See, that's not even that much radiation, if you can hear it. Like, if it's clicking that slowly. Friendly pilot, sir. Our squad has taken a beating. They can use some help up ahead. Got it. Oh! Oh, that didn't work. Hey. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's the L-Star weapon. I like that weapon. I like that one. Not going through that way. Have returned all freshly purpled up and cut. Jezza. I again, Mike. Yeah? Excuse me. Oh, yeah, the L-Star's really good against robots. I remember. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you... Sorry. What happened to Cat Daddy? Um, what? Ah, my body! Ah. Oh, I guess because they're walking through the corrosive stuff, huh? Hit you right in the head. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was... That was terrible. Hit. Oh, I'm already... Yeah, see? I wanted to talk. Alright. Alright, fine. I'm going. Attention. There is a deceased prowler in Junction 3A requesting immediate removal. Gotta keep. I'm, I'm trying to get fancy with my move. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's a fancy move. Don't you pick that gun up. Whoa, hello. Will you guys calm down? What about laser weaponing like that, Kyle? It says Christian Hines. Um, laser weapons totally viable. But laser weapons totally viable. You can get powerful enough lasers right now that can do damage to skin and materials. Um, the U.S. Navy has a laser on a ship that can instantaneously detonate. <laughs> I want to see Kyle the movement god. Um... I'm trying to get fancy, you know, like those Apex players. Whoop. Uh, right, it, right into a nice slide run, you know. Um, that can, with a pulse of a laser, instantaneously detonate the engine of a boat or destroy a drone. I, they haven't done this publicly, <laughs> for a good reason. But I'm willing to bet if you turn that thing on someone's face and you did a laser pulse, it would probably blow their face off. <laughs> but think about this. You don't need a laser to do that for it to be effective. You can just blind people with a with a laser mount uh, a, a, a handheld size laser. That's banned by the Geneva Convention because it'd be so easy. To intentionally create weaponry that blinds people. I feel like you've been walking for days. Well you don't Do you require rest. I've been walking for like ten minutes. No. I know no because I've been stressed. We must uphold the mission. Uphold your mission. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa! It turns them into goo. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> Who's firing at me? Hey. Who's firing at me? Yep. Yeah, I don't need this Kraber anymore. Get close. Hit. Hazardous waste pumps now filtering automated testing facilities. Where'd you come from? Pilot outside. Hit. <laughs> I 
I see you. You think I don't see you? I see you. Sammy B with the two. Thank you, Sammy. So I got word that there's some Vanguard class Tiglin and an SRS pilot taking out my IMC support. Whoever you are. Not bad. Hey, can you stop? Not bad at all. Whoa! Oh. I just hope you're better than the last one I did. Yeah, no, I'm going in. I'm not using like any of my abilities right now. No, no, don't go into the. Is that water or goo? Quick, water or water or goo. Play the game. It's goo. Hello. I'm trying to switch up my weapons, chat. Kyle, what's your favorite gun in the game? I remember. Remember the L stars. Jesus Christ. Remember the L stars pretty sick. I forget. Um, I forget which other ones I like. I have to get to him again. Hello. Now that that chat is probably um, white phosphorus. Um, and white phosphorus, phosphorus weapons and grenades and missiles, I think, are also banned by the Geneva Convention. What phosphorus, what about it is it doesn't need oxygen or continued oxygen um, from the atmosphere, from the surrounding environment, to continue burning. So white phosphorus will burn underwater. And you can't put it out, basically. And so when people are hit with it, or if you bomb an area with it, it burns them and you can't put it out and they're in agony until they die. And I think that's why it's banned. I think it's banned. Or definitely frowned upon. Hey. Is it worse than napalm? Uh, yeah? I think it's more easily dispersed. I don't know. I'm not a weapons expert. I think they're both banned. So. Coming. Come There's a Vanguard class Titan in the facility. I think it's SRS. You think it's SRS? There's a Vanguard class oh, Titan in the facility. SRS. I think it's SRS, you idiots. You can handle the job. I will. Just leave it to good old Kane to clean up your mess. How, how do you find this element? Is it man-made or you find it in nature? There are very few man-made elements. They're all... Uh, radioactive and high up in the periodic table. Phosphorus was discovered. Just like oxygen or calcium was. Hazardous waste pumps now filtering automated testing facilities. Three. Movement God. <laughs> Apex Legends. Exercise caution. Goo. You too, BT. Where are you? I'm following the stream of sludge. The current is strong up ahead, suggesting an exit. Keep moving forward. Mm hmm. You throw some Willy Pete in front of an enemy, ain't no chance of running, so Sammy B. What does that mean? <laughs> Sammy, you're an you're a unique individual, huh? Pilot, our path <laughs> will intersect just up ahead. Great. Sounds good. Army still has phosphorus grenades and thermite ones. Security forces. Prepare yeah. yourself, pilot. You prepare yourself. I'm fine. I mean, look at my movement. It's 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 cracked. I might as well be Asu or Timmy. Good to see you. Buddy. It's good to see you, buddy. It is good to see you too, pilot. I think I want to. Controls to deactivate the sludge I I floor in the next chamber, I... marking your HUD. Oh, Willie Pete signs for white phosphorus. Oh, I'm, I'm the weird one. My bad. Hit. <laughs> Does it make me a psychopath that I intentionally hit the defenseless ones? Mm. No. I'm going to say no. Weapons free! IMC security forces. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. Alright, scrub. 
Trucks enough's enough. I'm coming down. Lost visual. My legs. Whew. Man. We will need to deactivate so fast pace. In order to regroup. So I cool. The controls on your HUD. Overriding pump filter system. Oh, now's the boss time, huh? I love your science and your shows, but I find streams like but I like streams like this more, not just because there isn't three thousand people. <laughs> And not just because there aren't 3,000 people talking louder than me, says so Buster. Hey, what I like here in our gaming streams is that as we're just growing this channel out, it's just going to be a couple hundred of you and me, and I get to see pretty much everyone. I get to know you, you get to know me, and we get to do a little something different. So I'm not talking directly at you the whole time. Kyla, are you an arachnophobe? No. Oh, there's spiders. Cool. Wait, what did I do? Nothing. It does annoy me how they explode. The sludge falls contain a high concentration of heavy metals. They are interfering with my function. Pump shutdown sequence at twenty percent. Run. Run. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's why everyone says they hate this part, huh? The sludge falls contain a high concentration of heavy metals. There we go. They are interfering with my targeting systems. You can't just out... You can't just oh, outrun me. Just shoot. They will catch you. Into my pilot's combat zone would be a violation of Protocol 3. So, heavy metals. So that's what we mean when we say toxic. Not just harm... Not harmful to tissue. Like molten metal. But, uh... <laughs> but toxic constant... Like, like, lead. Uh-oh! It's behind me! Releasing the ticks! Aye! What's that? Oh, it's one of them! Ah! <laughs> That's what I get. Going this way. Oh, I do remember flying through this place. It was cool. Yeah. Man, the movement is just so cracked. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Nope. Gotta get these guys. You can't punch that hard, can you? I could punch harder than any man in the world. Pump shutdown sequence at fifty percent. No! 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 I got stuck on some terrain. That wasn't me. Do I have to do that whole part again? Good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gotta keep. I think the shotgun's the wrong choice here. You never sneak up on a spider. Hey, hey, hey! How you doing? Nice to meet you. Movement. Oh no. Ah, oh, there's so many! Oh, can't see me. Oh, yep, jump on it. Perfect. Come on. Come on. I wasn't using my, um... My, uh, cloak. My... Man, if, if that was, yeah, uh, for those of you who are saying this game needs to be on mouse and keyboard, it definitely does. BT! Contact re-established with pilot. Commencing supporting fire. 
PT, I need you. There we go. Woo! Passing out. PCO. Peace, Sammy. This game's so good. Don't. Send back up. <laughs> I was. That was a difficult battle. It was. You handled yourself well. I have noted it for the record. Just popped in to say hi and thanks for the videos that you do, says Asora. Asora, welcome. I appreciate any support of us here at the facility for no matter how long a time it is. Would it take more thrust to double jump or wall run? Uh, a small double jump would take less thrust. A wall run would take continued thrust in one direction, counteracting your weight. Our orders are to resume Persisten uh, Depends on how big the wall run is. <laughs> Stupid robot. <laughs> Stupid robot. That doesn't look so good, huh? Boss time. Up the sludge. There we go. You were not invited to Kane's party. I thought and I was only a pilot here. <laughs> well, well. Another runaway hero. With an SRS Vanguard class Titan. Boss time, chat. Woo! Now we're talking. <laughs> Bring it. I'm gonna isolate this minion guy. Pilot, avoid any pools of thermite. They cause heavy damage. Go ahead, go ahead. Kane can take a few hits. <laughs> I can keep going all day and all Damn it. night. But you, <laughs> uh -oh. you gotta sleep sometimes. Gotta focus this guy down. Oh, he's, he's trailing Thermite. That's cool. Bye bye, buddy. This game is sick. I'd keep watching well society. Kane's helmet radio is still intact. I have every. Yeah, I have every intention, Heidi, of completing this game. It's not going to take that long. And just Heidi, wait until you see some of the later missions, especially the time travel one. It's freaking awesome. Quack and Monster says I really enjoyed your Mortal Kombat series. Thank you. That was a half a million dollar series. Whew. If you translate these machines to a money number, how much would they cost? Is Brandon Zero? Uh, I'd guess they're in fighter pilot territory, right? I mean, fighter jet territory. So like millions to hundreds of millions. Gamerific with the five mech punch him in the face. I mean, don't need to beat the man while he's already dead. It's drawn to the. It's drawn to the the Draconis. It's drawn. No. It's drawn to prepare the Draconis. The ability to decrypt enemy communications has a strong history in warfare. Less than an SLS rocket. To our yeah, advantage. In order to survive, we must keep moving. Yeah, that Mortal Kombat series does feel like it was from a million years ago. Um, different time. At the facility, now that I escaped the void, I'm here at the facility. Totally different stuff that we're doing.
most people that I meet, IRL, still mention and probably know me best for the Because Science stuff, but, you know, can't do the same thing forever. Don't want to. I legally can't now. Um, but we wouldn't be able to do things like Half-Life Histories and go to Chernobyl and do all that kind of stuff. So, chat, Major we'll play for a little bit longer. It could be a shortcut to the rendezvous point. I recommend we proceed. Hey, Kyle, Gamerific with another five. Thank you, Gamer. Can you do a physics video about the level where all the starships are in high-speed, low-altitude chase? We'll do... We'll do some science just for you when we get to that part. Pilot control initiated. Chernobyl stuff is a good signal booster, says Crafty. Yeah, Crafty, it seems... The, um... The videos that are really growing the facility right now are the ones that have a wider impact. Impact. So all of you nerds know what to expect from your boy here. So you'll you'll watch pretty much anything that I do because you know that I do it for you and I do it well. Um, but the Chernobyl stuff and uh, Half Life history stuff that hits a wider audience and that brings in new people, and then they can't escape, you know, because of the laser fences. Oh. What are we doing here, BT? Getting a little framey, gamey. Must proceed through this facility and continue to the rendezvous point with Major Anderson. It is our only chance of survival. I think my aim speed could be a little bit. Eh. Oh, there it is. I guess, wait, but why don't I have... Ah, there we go. Give me a little bit of extra yaw there. Quacking monster. Quackenstein Monster, for several years I was on the fence about nuclear power, but after watching your videos, you converted me to pro-nuclear power. Quackenstein! I'm just trying to put good information out there. Garrett Thatcher, Chernobyl stuff is not only well done, but also amazing for correcting a number of misconceptions people have had. Garrett, just wait until you see our next one, um, about the dogs of Chernobyl. It will, re it will recontextualize what you think about the environment there, and what it actually does to animals. Or not. Nar. Yeah. Which one is this again? I, for I forget which one this is. So I got big freaking bullets. I sent out a scanner. I, I shield. Oh, I shield up, right? And then this lock on comes from there. And then I shoot these big bullets. Eh. Eh. I don't know, I'll give it a, I'll give it a try. Ash, this is Blizz, a copy of her. This is Ash, go ahead. Gain is not responding. Oh, Ash is from Apex Legends. Oh, ah, oh, that makes sense. Got to be headed your way. Kill him. Understood. He's a hip, out. he's a heavy hitter. Sounds like he's afraid of us, BT. Doubtful. No, that shield doesn't make sense to me. A one-way shield? One of the most ruthless mercenary units in the frontier. They are war criminals. You're a war criminal. I mean, sorry, I, just a reflex. Dogs are the best things a human's ever invented. Try to change my mind. I don't know, the knife is pretty cool. <laughs> See, this is the uh, terraforming section, which I told you about. Like, automated mass production of habitable spaces in space. I think this, all this visuals and all this stuff is really, really cool. So, like, just automating trees and stuff. You'll see. You'll see. Hey. Jeez. Okay, so I do this, and then I do that, and then I do this? Where's the locker? Nope. Did 
Did I just run them over? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Sir. <laughs> Lock only works on heavy targets. Got it, got it, got it. Well, maybe we'll switch back. I know there's something in there, chat. I don't care. We're gonna get through this game on stream. We gotta play fast and loose, baby. I feel bad for him, really. I mean, all this production, all that stuff. It's cool. Ignore the sounds, Chad. Ignore the sounds. Ignore the sounds, Chad. Okay, so you know a few moves won't be enough, though. Won't it, though? I wanted to, I wanted to have the pocket sink. Oop, two of them, three of them. First wall activated. Ah, come on. At least get one of them with this. He's hiding down. Yes. Electric smoke. Now it's my turn. Come here. <laughs> Good work, pilot. Your skills are greatly improving. Yeah, I know. Look at me. God, this game's so awesome. Is this uh the railgun? Brute? Is that the one I was using? Oh yeah, you can fly with this one. So with this, I can I get the shield, I get my lock on that I like, and then I fly. <laughs> oh, okay. Well try it out. We're nearing the end of our stream today, chat. And we haven't had some science time in a while, but that's because I'm having Pilot, a great this loading dock's cargo lift offers a shortcut through the facility. Check your HUD for the control panel. Good idea. Thank you, Pilot. This game's so awesome, chat. 
Highly recommended. Try to slide in. <laughs> hey, buddy. Where'd I go? Oop. Jump over his head. Oh! <laughs> you can just you can just do so many different things in the game. Like your movement, if you're good, you can you can just run. Like, literally, like, run around the walls on these guys, like, like, Trinity or something. It's just, can't recommend it enough. It's just sick. How many science times have there been so far since, since Quack and Mike? Meister. Monster. Quack and C. Monster. Uh, ten? I think we've gotten some pretty good science in, chat. Chat, if we've been getting good science in, if you've been enjoying yourself, I want you to spam your favorite emoji right now. Do it. Don't. No! No, BT! No! Put him down! Put him down! Put him down! I cannot free myself. I will- I'm coming to your aid! Don't just shoot randomly at it. Now that's a lot of science, says Garrett Thatcher. Mm-hmm. My favorite emoji isn't in this chat. Oh well. You know, this might be if this is a loading screen, which I think it is. Chat. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Am I too big here too? No. See, this makes more sense. It's too low. Chat. You know what time it is. Been playing for about two hours. It's time to take the gamer headphones off. It's time to unleash the main. <sighs> Chat. Come on. Chat, what did we do today? Well, we started our adventure through a scientist plays Titanfall 2, one of my favorite FPSs, one of the most sciencey, interesting gameplay is cracked, movements amazing, lore is interesting, technological, science fictiony. I'd say we got through quite a bit of science time today. And I that's exactly what I wanted from a game like this. If you've been enjoying what we do and what we're doing, Subscribe to the gaming channel so you never miss one of these live streams, so you never miss the highlights. Go to the main channel to see what we do for our day job, which is educate, entertain, and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. Today, in fact, we did 45 minutes of explanation on why NASA's dark mission was actually so amazing. I hope you've enjoyed the last uh, two and a half hours here. I know I've enjoyed it after being here uh after not streaming for five and a half weeks we'll be doing more and more things next gaming stream will probably be next tuesday and um once we're into october and once we're done with titanfall 2 we'll be starting our spooky stream month we'll be playing chernobylite dead space 2 and then Callisto protocol no matter where i see you next time whether that's on the next live stream whether that's on the main channel in the comments whether that's in the patron only discord patreon.com slash kyle hill i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i'm feeling good i hope you're feeling good I hope you learned something i hope you had a little fun until next time be nice to each other because this is all we got